If you have your Bibles, turn to John chapter number 3. Tonight's message is titled, The Gift of God. Amen. You start reading verse number 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but th that the world through Him might be saved. Dear Lord, I thank You for this day. I thank You for all things You do for us, Lord. I pray that You'd help me as I preach, Lord. Help me to say all things that I should, nothing I should not, God. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Amen. First off, we see here the gift of God. It told us, it said, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life is the gift that God has given to us. Right. We call it salvation. Amen. And right here, we see what He suffered to give us the gift. Turn to Isaiah chapter 53, verse number 3. It says, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces. From, from him he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Amen. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shears is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. You will also see over here in Matthew chapter number 27. Verse number 26. Then released he Barabbas unto them, and when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of the soldiers. And they stripped him of his, and they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it on upon his head and a reed in his right hand and bowed knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit on him, and took the reed, and smote him on the head. And after they had mocked him, they took away the, they took the robe off of, from him, and put his own raiment on him, and led him away to crucify him. <clears throat> and as they came, and as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they had come unto the place called Golgotha. That is to say, the place of skull, they gave him vinegar to drink mingled with gall. When he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him. Right, right here, it shows us what he suffered for right. us. Amen. And Isaiah 53, and here in Matthew, it shows us exactly what he suffered. He suffered many things for us, scourging. Right. During the scourging, they would whip him. And it said that was his stripes. And it said they smote him with the reed. They, and they beat him too. It said that he was bruised right. and he Amen. was beaten. Then here, in number, number three, what we gain through salvation, he lost so much through giving us salvation, but what do we gain through it? We read in Galatians 3.26, part of it. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. And we see in Romans 8, 16, and 17. The 
The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, right. and if then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with Him, that we may be also glorified together. We gain joint heirs with Christ. We are joint heirs with Christ Himself. That means we have access to God, right. unlimited access, because we are on the same level as Christ right here. We gain access to heaven and all things in heaven. Amen. Number four, if I'm sure some are lost in here, it, how to accept the gift of God. It reads in Acts 16, verse number 31, and they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's very simple. God didn't make the plan of salvation hard, He made it very simple. He said, all you have to do is believe. If the Holy Spirit's drawing you to be saved, all you have to do is believe on Him. Right, amen. Not believe in Him. You can believe in Him all day. You can right. believe that there's a God, but you have to place your faith on Him. That's right. Amen. You have to believe on God. What is the penalty, though, if you don't accept this? Not accepting the gift of God. It says in John 3.18, Move back. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. It said here he's condemned. Condemnation, it means that we're already judged. Right. We, our, our, our fate is sealed, is what it says, if we, believe, if we don't believe. Right. And if you look at Luke chapter number 16... We get a preview of the punishment if we don't believe. Verse number 19. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass the beggar died and was carried by angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeing Abraham far off, and Lazarus in his bosom, and cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he might dip the tip of his finger in the waters and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. He said the man was tormented. Right. It's our own sins that sent us here. Right, amen. So the man was in torment of flame. It's what's coming to every sinner who don't get saved. Right. Amen. I forgot what I was going to say. It's our own sins that sent us there, but if all we got to do is accept the gift of God, we will be saved. And so many times we as Christians, we fail to tell others what's coming if they don't get saved. I know I don't care like I should. that ought to save, that will care like we ought to, that will have that burden for sinners. But the gift of God, He's, he's willing to save us from the torment if we'll only believe in Him. Right. Amen. 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 Amen.